A big story this hour comes in from India's Kashmir Valley. In Kashmir, a major fire has broken out at a five-story hotel building in the heart of Srinagar today. The Pamposh Hotel at Regal Chalk houses many prominent private house offices, including those of several media houses. It is one of the most prominent hotels in the Lal Chowk area. And what you can see are the latest visuals coming in from Pamposh Hotel, where you can see... The top stories of the hotel have been completely engulfed by the fire as thick black smoke billows out of the structure. Firefighters are battling this blaze. These are the latest visuals that we are bringing to you from Srinagar. The fire erupted on the top floors of Hotel Pamposh and soon spread to the lower floors. All guests and staff were evacuated on time. The cause of fire though has not been ascertained yet but reports said this was the third fire in the building in the last 24 hours and to bring us more details on this new story i'm joined in by our correspondent ishan vani who continues to be live from the spot in srinagar let's quickly go across to ishan ishan you have been stationed over there uh, for quite some time uh, give us the latest details on ground zero The latest is that 12 firemen were trapped inside this particular hotel. You can see right behind me, the weather is getting really intense. There's a lot of wind blowing and there's a dense cloud cover which is coming around Srinagar city. Uh, again, this is a prominent hotel in the heart of Srinagar. It becomes a really important place and the center in the Srinagar. All the business establishment are placed. 12 firemen were trapped inside this hotel. They were unable to come out because there's a lot of thick black smoke coming out of the hotel. You can even see right now because of the wind the smoke is spreading and the fire from the third floor is still raging and then these 12 uh, firemen were taken out from the uh, using the staircase from the top building to the top story of this particular hotel uh, the weather is not really helping these firemen who are trying to carry out this rescue operation uh, they are trying to come out of this hotel building and trying to doze the blazes All from right. outside it uh, certain vehicles have been brought from the back side of this particular hotel right. uh, the, the a rescue operation is currently underway. Ishan, the, these visuals are extremely dramatic and very shocking. As we can see, you know, the entire screen is actually covered with smoke that's been billowing out of this hotel. These are some very dramatic visuals over there. Goes on to also indicate the severity of this fire that has engulfed Pamposh Hotel. It's important to talk about the structure of this hotel. Uh, Ishan, if you can hear me, you know, the structure of this hotel, it's also located at a very densely populated area in in Srinagar, which is the Lal Chowk. So how is it, is it not very challenging for the fire department to douse this fire? Doesn't that add to it? Well, yes, this is important because uh, in the winters, usually the houses in Srinagar are made of wood, which provides some resistance from the chilling cold. And that is similarly, I have been inside this hotel. There are a lot of stories which have been covered with the wood. The woodwork is prominent inside this hotel. And that is why you see uh, the, the wind is not really helping. That is why you see the fire is spreading because there's a lot of woodwork and wood catches the fire really immediately. Uh, there was a time some time back when you saw that entire area was covered with the uh, thick, uh, thick smoke that is blowing out of uh, this particular hotel. Uh, there, there are people who are not able to breathe. And this entire area, you saw there were a lot of people who were here around this particular place. They have now moved out because the thick, uh, thick smoke is coming to them. And uh, that's why they are moving out of this particular place. So the, similarly, you can gauge that how difficult it becomes for the fire and service officials and firemen to actually doze these planes because they cannot literally see anything. As again, you can see that we cannot actually see anything uh, on our on, on the hotel is completely blank now because of the thick smoke that has covered the entire hotel and it has become difficult for us even to see here and to breathe actually there's a lot of a lot of lot of wind is blowing from this particular side because the weather hasn't been good since the morning as you rightly mentioned that was snowing in the morning and there were predictions that it will rain continuously in the valley it hasn't rained much but the wind has been really fast from last one hour and that 
that is why the blaze is spreading inside this particular hotel. Now the frame has completely gone blank, but the fire is still raging and this wind will be really damaging to this hotel and would be really dangerous for the firemen who are trying to doze these blames. Absolutely, Isha, and it is indeed some very challenging circumstances for the fire fighting department to, that they are facing. You know, as you rightly mentioned, there is the wind factor to be kept in mind because, yes, it has been the first snowfall for the Kashmir Valley that has already taken place and the wind is certainly not favoring this blaze which is spreading by the hour. Talk about the space restrictions that the firefighting department is also facing. As we can see, it's a densely populated area. You earlier also mentioned that the firefighting department could not make it to the backside of the building. Absolutely right. The fire service department initially when we reached the spot came from the front side of this hotel. It has the space and capacity to go from that side. But on the back side is the Bun area which is the bank of the river Jhelum. So there is no transportation allowed from that particular place and it became difficult for the fire service men and fighters to come with their big vehicles which carry usually uh, the water inside them and to come and come and dose this fire from the back side of the hotel. And that was one of the challenging steps for them. And that is where the fire started raging from the backside. Till it could be realized that the fire is raging from the backside, the fire had already spread from that area. You can see that the, right now, uh, we cannot literally see the hotel uh, even uh, right now. And there's a lot of, we are unable to breathe from this particular place, which is like uh, 100 meters to 200 meters away from the spot. Uh, it is becoming difficult to breathe here. So you can gauge the fact that how difficult it will be for the firemen to carry this particular operation. This is in the heart of Srinagar, where all the business establishments are placed place and given the fact that these business establishments are close to the hotel so fire could spread there and nothing can be seen right now uh, where we are standing around 200 meters away so how difficult would it be for the fireman who is inside this particular hotel and and the question is that the three times in a day in the last 24 hours the fire has raged inside this hotel what were the steps that were taken by the fire and uh, by the hotel authorities right. to control this fire given the fact that there are a lot of tourists who are housed inside this Absolutely, Ishan, as you rightly mentioned that this was the third time that the fire took place in the last 24 hours. The administration and of course the hotel authorities will have a lot of explanation to give as far as the lack of action is concerned, which could have been taken, you know, much earlier and this could have been averted. Absolutely. The police will have to check that what were the fire control measures that were taken in, into consideration by the hotel authorities. We saw the lack of fire equipments when the fire raged in Mumbai on the eve of New Year last time. There were no fire equipments and then it became a high profile case. And in this case also there was a fire which erupted yesterday in the morning in the kitchen area. And in the, in the morning this time it was in the ground floor of this particular hotel that a fire raged from one of these places. And this is the third fire. This is the second fire today which has raged now this is from the top story of the building it's spreading as we speak right now there are a lot of media personnel who uh, are residing there a lot of national tv channels uh, and because of the fire now the wind is blowing again and you can see on your screens i will ask my camera person to zoom his camera uh, you can see the blazes are spreading because of the wind and that will become that will make sure that the uh, fire spreads and the firemen are not able to go inside this particular hotel because the fire one cannot see anything. It's a big hotel. There, there must be more than 100 rooms inside this particular hotel. So becoming difficult. It has been more than two hours since the fire is raging. And the firemen initially thought that this corporation would last for an hour because the fire was raging from the front side of this building. And now it has spread from the back side because again, on the back side, there's a space crunch and the firemen couldn't come from that side. And that is where it becomes challenging. And that is how the fire has spread. Absolutely, Ishan. As we can see, some very dramatic visuals over there. There are this, these raging flames billowing out of Pamposh Hotel, as we can see, and along with columns of smoke. It doesn't seem like this fire is going to be contained anytime soon. Also, Ishan, you know, there has been no classification of this fire so far by the fire department, but it certainly seems like a massive fire that has taken place. Um, Earlier, we saw the police also jumping to the hotel's rescue. When can we expect the army to come and lend a hand? 
Well, yes, it depends on the authorities to whether call in the army or not. It will certainly be the case that first the police and the fire and emergency service department will try to see that if they can control the fire. Army has their equipments, they have their advanced equipments to deal with such situations. We have seen in certain places in the rural belt of Kashmir that army comes to the rescue and there was a fire in the Uri some time back. The army was able to dose those blames because uh, now we can, even now, right now, if I speak, so I can, I talk to my media friend who was just there uh, inside the hotel. His equipments and personal belongings are still inside the hotel and he's not able to take them out. But uh, the hotel has been sealed. No one is being allowed to go in and the firemen are trying to, uh, you know, control these blazes from outside the hotel. It will become difficult for the firemen because the weather is getting uh, from bad to worse because the wind is blowing and that is where you see this, this thick black smoke coming out of the hotel. The, 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 although some of the gas cylinders uh, were taken out from the kitchen area of the hotel initially but there are certain equipments which will be dangerous for the firemen and even for the authorities and for the hotelier as well again this is a tourist spot a lot of tourists come here uh, this is the season when a lot of tourists will come and stay inside this right. hotel because it's located centrally in the Lal Chowk right. area which is a business hub and it becomes accessible for a tourist to come and even take walks around this place this is a beautiful place and uh, River Jehlim flows through it and this hotel is not only damage to the uh, to the business sector but also to the hoteliers in the Kashmir Valley. Absolutely, as you rightly mentioned, that this will not only just cause damage to, you know, the various media houses which are placed in Pampor Hotel, but also to a host of tourists who were beginning to trickle in since the, the season has just kicked off in Kashmir. Let's hope uh, that everybody inside the hotel has been rescued and that the fire fighting operation actually comes to an end. Thank you so much, Ishan, for bringing us all those latest details. We will continue to track these rescue operations.